Good. That's satisfying when I do that. Baby's fed, we're ready to film. Today we're gonna test out paper towel heatless curls. They're kind of like a take on rag curls, but instead of kind of rolling them up into your head or into like onto your scalp, they're gonna be hanging down. And I saw this method, who was it? Jocelyn Davis on her Instagram, her IGTV, but she said she saw on somebody else online. I'm not sure where this came from, but again, it's a take on rag curls from many, many years ago. So let's get started. So what I need for this are paper towels, clear elastics, and then some kind of little hair clip to hold the paper towel to the section of hair. So what she did was she took a section of hair like so, take the paper towel, place it like this, take a little hair clip and just kind of place it into the hair so it doesn't go anywhere. And then split the hair, that section, kind of like in half like this. And then she kind of just went Underneath, over, crisscrossed it, underneath, crisscross it, underneath. <laughs> bring it back over, crisscross it, and then bring it back down, and then crisscross it. Take a clear elastic and secure the end. So it kind of looks like you're braiding the hair. And then I'm just going to secure the bottom. Okay. So let's do this again. I'm gonna do the front on this side. Grab a paper towel, fold it lengthwise, like so. Place it on top. Take a little clip, secure the paper towel to the hair, and then the, hair, the paper towel is on top. I'm gonna split the hair right in half and then bring the two sections over and then we're going to cross bring it down around the paper towel underneath cross again bring it over paper towel cross again bring it under cross again Bring it over paper towel, cross again, cross again, and then just gonna tie this off on the paper towel. It's quite easy, but it's just a little bit time consuming just because it depends how many sections you're doing. I'm just gonna rip some of these paper towels, so I just have extras. I don't know how many sections I'm going to do per head, I mean per side but I just split it in the middle in the back and I'm just gonna work my way to the front, I guess. It kind of goes by fast once you get a hang of it. And the reason why I liked these curls on Jocelyn were, was because because you're kind of crisscrossing the sections. So once they dry, they dry and they kind of set in place. When you take them out, they basically alternate the curls, which is kind of cool. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna look on shorter hair because she has really long hair and I'm, I was really curious to see how it's gonna turn out. So I'm hoping that this is gonna look good. <laughs> But we'll see what happens, you know? I'm thinking, you know what? In the back, I'm going to do a couple of sections higher and then a couple of sections lower. So I think that's gonna look good. That's the one thing with shorter hair because your hair is so short underneath and then a lot of it doesn't, you know, doesn't even get the love <laughs> like, the, all, like the hair on the top. So we're gonna try that, hopefully. That will work. OK, 
Okay, got the one side done. Let's try this side. I think the only thing with these types of curls, I'm gonna have to fix the bottom, either with like a hair straightener or a curling iron to make sure it's a little more uniform and it doesn't look crinkled towards the bottom from the clear elastics. got everything. All right, so to speed up the process, going to use air bonnet, no heat setting, just the highest airflow with the Dyson hair dryer. This just helps, like again, speed up the process. It's not using any heat except for the room air, which that's exactly what I would do if I did not use the hair bonnet. So well, that's what I'm doing. That is loud. <laughs> I added an extra 10 minutes just to be on the safe side. Let's see if we're dry. Hmm. I feel some a little dampness towards the back where it's there's a lot a lot of hair in the back. Should I take these first pieces out? Got it. I'm kind of nervous. How many minutes did you do? I did 30. I added an extra 10 minutes. Let's take this out. Yeah, see the bottom is crinkled, so I would have to go back in and fix it. Okay, that actually worked, right? I mean, Is it, damp yet or no? it kind of feels damp towards the top where it's thickest. I think I'm gonna put it back in into the same paper towel. And I'm gonna do another 10 minutes. Whew. All right, I'm pretty sure we're done. Yeah, I'm feeling dry. Let's take these out. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little more set. You can see how bouncy they are now. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, they're definitely going to relax. They're not gonna be super tight. And I'm glad I used these little clips because they're not leaving any kind of crease at the top. Wow. Is this still wet? No, not really. Honestly, yeah. Some of these bigger sections, you see how, like you have to be very mindful of how you wrap it around because it could potentially not work great. I kind of figured you have to be a little bit more precise of how you do it, but some of them look good. I mean, you can always fix it with, you know, curling iron if you want to. Obviously then it's not heatless, but most of the hair is heatless. So that's a positive. That one turned out really pretty, I think. Just gotta fix the bottom a little bit. These paper towels are definitely not gonna go to waste. They're gonna be used. Yeah, like this, I would fix the bottom, maybe add a little bit more of a curl, like a tiny little wand. Let's take all of these out much faster. Looking good. That's satisfying when I do that. You like it? Yeah. Nice. There's only one section that I kind of really messed up on. I didn't do that well of a wrap. And look how bouncy it is, right? That's very nice. Looks like, looks like the 60s curls. Kind of like the rag curls, right? He got mad at me. Yeah, he was so comfortable. He was so comfortable just holding him. But my arm started falling asleep. 
because he's a big boy. So daddy's holding him now. I like that they're alternating, so it looks really nice. All right, so I'm just gonna take my hands. I'm just gonna go in and see what happens. Is this 60s or 70s? I feel like it's more of 70s because the top is very flat. It's like that's what 70s reminds me of. Flat, but then very voluminous in other areas. Like this, look at that. Yeah, when you break it apart, See, and they're very soft. Like I'm going in with my hands and my hair is very soft and it's not becoming frizzy. You know what I mean? Look at how pretty this one is, this really pretty curl. Wow. Definitely gives you a lot of volume. I'm actually quite impressed, you guys. Whoa. It looks like I have so much hair. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of play with my part a little bit and see what I like. I think I kind of liked it in the center actually, like where the hair was. Gives you a ton of volume. I think this would look really pretty also on somebody that has really long hair. Overall, I am quite happy with how it turned out, especially that I didn't really finesse of how I wrapped the hair, the sections around <laughs> the paper towels, but I think it actually looks pretty good. And for not as much product in the hair, the only thing I used was the little hair oil, but you can really go in and I think personalize it to your hair style, to your hair cut, to your hair length. And I think you will really enjoy this. And again, you can fix a lot of these sections later on with a little tiny wand, like a chopstick styler, or maybe add in a little bit bigger of a curl, bigger of a wave, and really have that dimension and texture happening in your hair. But overall, I think it's pretty good enough for how much time I spent, but I think it has to be a little bit more involved. You have to be a little bit more mindful of how you're wrapping it around and how many times you're wrapping it around the paper towel to get the best results. But for overall, I think I did a pretty good job and I'm kind of happy. I mean, I'm actually really happy with it. I'm curious to see how they're gonna fall out. I might do a little update at the very end of this video to show you guys maybe like several hours and how it turned out or yeah, we'll see. Babe, what do you think overall? Do you like it or is it a little too crazy for you? Uh, I like it. I definitely played with it a little bit too much, so it's looking a little bit fluffy right now. I wish I stopped, but I just, you know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop touching it. So this is my fault. It's a little bit too poofy, but that's because I just kept going and playing with the hair and separating it more and more. But it's gonna fall, it's gonna settle down and fall down a little bit. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna look in several hours. And that completes the paper towel heatless curls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if this is similar to the rag style curls or better or worse. Which one do you prefer if you tried this method out before? But let me know, share your pictures down below with all of us. For now, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.